Welcome, this is Brenda Harris greeting you in the precious name of Jesus. Thank you so much for stopping by today. Remember, God loves you, and so do I. I appreciate each and every one of you, and I pray God's many wonderful blessings over you and your lives, and I pray that God meets all of your needs. And one of our precious viewers, Tama Green, asked me about AI, so I thought I would do a video and express some of my opinions on the subject. Remember, in the book of Daniel, it says that in the last days, knowledge will increase, and we're seeing that take place big time, and it's even going to increase more. And remember at the Tower of Babel, when all the people got together and they decided they were going to build a tower up to the heavens and God himself said let us go down and confound their language otherwise there would be nothing that they couldn't do God has given man a brilliant mind look at all of the things that have been created down through the generations and when I look at a jet flying or an airplane and see it flying through the air it looks like a huge bird I just think to myself wow God gave man the know-how to build an airplane. Now me, myself, I wouldn't be able to build an airplane. It's just not in me to invent something like that, I don't think. But I have my own talents and abilities that God has given me. And God has given you talents and abilities. And God will use those. But someone was able to invent the airplanes right I mean remember the Wright brothers but now look what we have today called AI artificial intelligence and I watched one day the female robot that was created and it's just amazing now we can still tell that it's a robot but I believe in the future the human robots will look so real that you won't be able to tell the difference between a human being and a robot at least I think that's where we're headed and I can just see that the enemy would just love to get into something like that and bring about the Antichrist ruler's reign. I can just see that the enemy would love to get in there and ruin families because I have heard that some of these robots are used for girlfriends for people that can buy for people that can purchase them and the enemy's intent is to ruin families and God's intent is for a man to be a godly man and to have a family and to have children and raise the children to believe in God God highly appreciates families he puts great value on families 
He doesn't want to tear families apart. And look what's going on about the the genders. And that's not God's idea. But in the AIs, I believe that one of the bad things that could come out of it is the robots could look so real and so human that someone could be created to look exactly like someone else, a real human, and the robot could commit a crime and it look like a real human. And that human could be set up, so to speak. Say like in the future if a government went after a Christian person, the Christian could be set up. And I'm just thinking that this could be used for great evil. And we need to pray for our nation and I know that God is going to save our nation and God is going to be working in the whole situation to bring down the seditious and the traitorous. They're going to be led off in shackles of iron and fetters. I really believe that. But if you have any other comments that you would like to make about AI, let me know. But remember this one thing about AI. The information comes from a human brain. When it was created, the thoughts and the processes came from a human brain. Now, I was watching this one video about it and I know there are a lot of videos out there, but I haven't watched many, but this one I did watch. Someone asked the AI how to be saved. And the AI answered that um, you turn to God. And I don't remember all the details, but I was surprised that the AI actually responded in that way. But of course, remember, there are many world religions out there and God could mean a particular God to one person they may not believe in the Jehovah God but we as Christians believe in Jehovah so if an AI answers to turn to God he could be referring to the God that you believe in in the mighty name of Jesus, amen. Thank you for listening.